Boom. Yeah, that was my idea. At time again. And we're going to start off with the freshwater trout and redfin box because this time I actually have with me someone that knows a little bit about trout and redfin fishing. I've, I've caught one. One. <laughs> Which one? The trout or the redfin? The one of each. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm an expert. And we're going to go through the box with him and essentially get his ideas on how he would fish them for what species and where, essentially. Um, so I'll start off with, uh, we've got the Pontoon 21 Kablista, which is a 75 mil floating uh, crankbait, essentially. What's the first thing that comes into your head with that one? Uh, first thing that comes into my mind is that it is clearly the standard go-to trout lure shape. Uh, being floating is fantastic, especially in the shallow or faster water. You want to be able to put your lure out there and let it sit on top and then wind it downstream at a pace that suits you. Diving depth of 0.7 to 1 uh, puts it in the, the lure range that you want to be using in those small feeder streams. Uh, larger rivers a little bit, but what happens is when you get to the bigger pools, they don't dive quite big enough. But the water eye fish, this is exactly the type of depth and the fact that it's floating, uh, the things I look for in a lure. Uh, and the other great thing about this one particularly, I don't know what other colors it came into, but natural colors uh, for trout, go to golds, silvers, things that look like um, either a brown trout or a rainbow trout. So the silver flush there, you got the gold on top. So either or, both, almost both covered in the one lure. Um, yeah, without seeing it in the water, I can't really tell you much more, but it would be the sort of lure that I'd be really keen to put on and give a crack. So you're more thinking trout with this one? This is a trout lure. It's 100% yeah. a trout lure. Yeah. Uh, you could catch reddies with it. The problem with is with the depth, uh, dives to, you'd have to be targeting the reddies when they're up in the shallows on the banks, um, so it limits the time we can use it. <clears throat> this is an interesting one. Uh, homunculus, uh, Atira. So obviously going with a very, what well, sounds like a traditional Japanese name, but this is a pack of soft plastics. Uh, Effective in a wide rate of water temperatures, and I actually have it here recommended 5 degrees to 25 degrees. That's interesting, but obviously that'd be based in Japan. Um, for me, obviously not doing heaps of red fin or trout fishing, I'm probably thinking red fin with this. I could be wrong, but that would be one of the ones I'd stick on for red fin. Something you can stick on like a, a light little jig head on, a 1 8 or something uh, for your damn fish, um, especially when they're schooling up or if you're just fishing from the bank. What do you reckon? I think you're right, but I think the great thing about this is that um, it would be one of the many things that is dual purpose. Because of the long slender profile, if you sort of look at that beside the bait fish, it's got that long slim bait fish profile. So you put your 1 8 or a little bit more on it and sink it down for the readies, but when you're walking a stream, you put a bit lighter on this, 1 16th, or a little bit lighter again, and you flick that up into the streams, and that is as equally likely to get your tree out as it is to get your red fin. So that right there, if you had the choice of one thing to go on target two species, that's it right there. Just the profile, the natural colors, I think both it's, um, it's, it's gonna do them both right out of the box. Actually, and bam, they've actually coupled it with some jig heads too. So you've got some one eighth of an ounce uh, Lunker City jig heads to go with that. Really, one eighth? Did, did, did we talk about one eighth? I think I said one eighth. I think we both said that's a great <laughs> weight for Reddies. Yeah, <coughs> so spot on with that one. Yeah, so obviously, once again, thinking about what they put in the box, they're not just grabbing anything out and chucking it in there. Those, Perfect. These look really cool and actually, I think I, 
I think I could use these for heaps of different species. But see, to me, I'm thinking that's a bit big for trout. Yeah, unless but, unless you're looking at really big uh, stock trout or big river trout, um, you'd be throwing that for redfin, 100%. And a good sized redfin wouldn't think twice about hitting that. Uh, they're a greedy, greedy little thing, but 100% that's a redfin lure, and that would work um, just as well as a smaller lure on the one that she had supplied as well. Yeah, so these are the big bite baits uh, suicide shad. So a big tea tail paddle tail on the back, so it's going to put out a lot of vibration, move a lot of water. Um, but yeah, spot on, I reckon. I think we agreed with that. Yep. That, yeah, redfin. Going for redfin with this one because they're greedy and they'll eat anything. They've they got a nasty temper. They really do. And last in the box, uh, sticker, um, <laughs> is the Damiki Vault. See now, I, I'm not sure how I'd use these for trout or redfin. I could have a guess. I, I'd say maybe the same as what I use for bass. Maybe school, schooling up fish and yeah. just hopping it or vibrating it. So the way, the way you fish this for schooled bass would be exactly the way you'd fish it for, for reddies. Um, Schooled readies, you could drop that down, obviously just work it off the bottom, uh, but also um, readies sit around structure and upright trees when they're not schooled up. So dropping these down beside the trees and uh, through the sticks and just hopping it up. And also on a slow retrieve. So selecting one of the varied toe points, yeah. So blades have varied toe points, which alters the depth and the angle that they sit at and the amount they vibrate. So altering the uh, toe point you want for the retrieve you want. And um, believe it or not, blades massively, massively underutilized when chasing trout. Uh, that hooked on right and thrown through the right water will snag you a fantastic trout as well. You just need to know when to throw it. You can't throw it in in a, a ford in a river that's you know 200 300 mil deep it's just not really going to work but you get those nice holes with some good trout in them you're going to pick them up on a blade as well but 100 percent it'd be a go-to for redfin and i've thrown a lot of blades in the past for already so and it's a good looking lure like a great looking lure yeah i've used them before for bass yeah. and i've put heaps on them um just found this in the box too it's a little master angler Discount coupon. It's got the code on the back, so I won't show that side. But yeah, if you did get a Tackle Club box, sometimes you do find little sneaky things like these in your boxes, where you get a discount code to go shop and buy some more lures, if you want some more. Um, but the total cost of this box, obviously if you're a subscriber, it's $49.99. But the retail value, you're looking at $76.45 all up. So you got, um, you got two packs of plastics, um, two hard bodies, and your pack of jig heads already you know pre-picked out thought put into it they match everything up so it all works well together and you're ready to go straight out of your box awesome awesome box 